Happy Sunday, everybody. Yes, I am here with you, and you are here with me, Kiara The Voice, and we are joined here on yet again another Sunday. However, this Sunday is a super special Sunday. Yes, this Sunday is Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all of the amazing women who have helped bring life to this universe. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We literally would not be here without you, and for that, I am so, so thankful. I just want to take a time to just breathe for a second because today I woke up and I was like super emotional about Mother's Day and it's because I haven't actually seen my mom in real life in two years and that's a long, long time, especially when you have a very close relationship with your mother and you tell her everything, like literally everything that goes on in your life and um, I woke up just feeling really sad because I looked around and I didn't have any pictures of her since like I graduated college <laughs> and it made me just feel like uh like 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 uh you know I talked to her all of the time on the phone we FaceTime each other we we're texting each other we're still very close but I guess this day didn't hit me hard until I realized how much I require physical touch as my love language and I started to really just think about how when I was in Thailand I began to understand intentional touch and how much I was missing intentional touch just in my daily life um, from people who I had been talking to from friends you know getting that loving touch getting that loving touch but I don't think often enough I express the fact that I need to or want to be held and embraced when it comes to showing love and showing affection with all of the people that I'm around. I mean, if you ever met me, you know that the first thing that I'm going to do is reach in and try to hug you and be like, yeah, I'm a hugger. We got to do this just so that I can feel your energy so I can feel if you're willing to be present with me. And I think that's the part that was getting me the most this rising like not being able to spend the day with her, yeah, that hurts, but not being able to just go and hug her or not even have felt that intentional touch from my mom because when we're born, you know, that's that's literally the first person that we get to latch onto if you were able to, you know, have your mother right after the hospital and, and just get that first skin to skin contact, you know? and get that first little bit of nutrients from your mom, you know? And so that connection that you're building after those nine months that you've been in the womb or for however long that you were in the womb and you really like sharing energy with this person, as we grow and as we adult, we should never cease sharing energy with that person. And we have to continuously make ways that we can tap back into that feeling or that emotion that we get when we're right next to them, even if we're far away. And this rising for me, I just felt like I didn't have any reminders of that around me other than, you know, being able to call her and be on the phone with her now. Um, but it really just got me thinking about how much we don't share with other people around us what we need in order to feel fulfilled because though I'm always talking about your self journey and about you growing yourself to becoming and, and being able to channel into whatever energy you need and not letting outside energies distract you or make you turn into something different, we still need to remind the people who we are around daily what it is that we need in our lives in order to make us feel fulfilled. So that way we're keeping the people in our corners that are going to help us succeed and help us grow in life and not, you know, be causing tension or confusion within our own growth. As we grow and as we adult, we become in control of our own environments. We get to choose where we're going to be. And so we're choosing basically what's going to be around us and what's going to give us a certain stimulus that's going to help raise our vibrations. And we have to be mindful that we're choosing geographic locations and networks that we're going to be able to feel and fuel that vibration that we're trying to raise to the next level so that way we can get what we need in order to fill ourselves up so it's still being inspired by what you're able to see by what you're able to experience and i know for me at least my mother has always been that woman that helps me know that i can do whatever i imagine but first i need to imagine it 
always been encouraging me to follow my wildest dreams from going skydiving to scuba diving to traveling outside of the country alone and just just because with no real plan and just knowing that if I trust myself, I can do whatever it is. And she's always been that woman that I can bounce back to and just recharge for that moment that I can embrace and hug and just feel and know that the universe that is her lives within me and that if that is what is my guide, then I am always good. That I'm never alone in this world, but I've also been given every tool that I need in order to succeed to the highest, highest, highest level of myself. So this Mother's Day, let this be a reminder to you that you came through some amazing womaverse no matter what that connection is, and if you're still able to tap in instantly, walk down the street, make a phone call, say a prayer, connect through meditation, whatever it is that you're able to tap into that energy of your mother, that energy of the womb that got to incubate you and create you, know that you always have that energy with you. I'm gonna spend some time today just um, doing some of my favorite things to make my energy and my vibrations to stay up in celebration and not to fall low into the fact that I can't just be there right now um, and know and understand that all of the choices that I'm making in my life are because I see a new vision for the way in which I will be able to continuously connect with my mom and the rest of my family and with everybody who I meet and how I'll continue to be inspired by the world and continue to share love and light and just everything, 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 everything. So take time to share that love, to spread that love, to be mindful of the most amazing being that enabled you to get here, the portal from which you came. Happy Mother's Day, happy Mother's Day, happy Mother's Day. I love you, mom.